British standards are the nationally recognised guidelines developed by the British Standards Institution, or BSI. They set consistent requirements for the safety, quality, performance and design of products, systems and services. This is everything from electrical wiring to food safety and of course construction and within that pacifier protection. They were first introduced in the early 1900s to create consistency and safety across industries, with the earliest standard believed to be about steel for railways. Over time, as buildings became more complex, I mean, look at that, as well as construction methods changing, standards needed to evolve. They evolved in loads of ways, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about how they evolved in fire safety and construction, because today they form the backbone of the pacifier protection industry. In fire protection, British standards fall broadly into two main categories. The first are product specific safety and performance standards. These set out how products should be tested to make sure that they are performing as they're meant to in the case of a fire. You have BS 8524 part one that define what fire curtain barriers need to do and how to test that. You have BS 8414 that sets out large-scale testing for cladding systems. There's BSEN 1366 series for fire-resisting ductwork and penetration seals, and the long-standing BS 476 series covering fire-resistance testing of building materials and structures. Obviously, that's just to name a few, because just in pacifier protection, there's hundreds of standards, let alone every other industry. The second category covers design guides and application standards. These help fire engineers, architects, and designers apply fire safety principles across whole buildings from the get-go, going beyond the prescriptive guidance of approved document B allowing more flexible or risk-based approaches. We said BS 8524 part one was the other type of standard. This type of standard covers BS 8524 part two, which defines how to install and maintain those fire curtain barriers. Or you have BS 9999, which provides a modern code of practice for fire safety in design and management of non-residential buildings. BS 9991 focuses on residential developments and BS 7974 supports performance-based fire engineering solutions. Such standards are invaluable for complex or bespoke projects where generic regulations fall short. In the future, I'll be going in a little bit deeper, a little bit of a deep dive on specific standards. So leave me a comment and let me know which one you want me to discuss next. Everything from the history, why it came about, what it's for, how it's used, and we'll see you in the next video.